Other new information about a Memphis runner's last moments alive yesterday. An autopsy revealed Eliza Fletcher died from a gunshot wound to the head. Cleotha Abston Henderson is charged not only in her death, but for kidnapping the kindergarten teacher while she was out for that early morning run near the University of Memphis campus. Now, Abston Henderson's also been charged in a 2021 rape since Fletcher's death. Now the state though is stepping up its efforts to get those rape test kits tested in a timely manner with the goal of getting offenders off the street sooner. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson has been looking into this and the governor's plans on speeding this up. So Cole, what changes are coming? Hey, good morning, Ben. Well, we're live at the TBI this morning talking about this announcement from some top state officials that they're going to be adding 25 positions here to the TBI, really going to be speeding up the hiring process of that. That's really the announcement here. And these are for forensic lab positions and their release outright says this will expand testing capacity and make the turnaround faster for sexual assault kits. And here at the Nashville lab, there will be 11 positions. The other 14 are going to Jackson or Knoxville. And the money for these jobs is going to come out of existing funds this in this year's budget and will be added into the 2023-2024 budget. Lieutenant Governor McNally said in part that the current turnaround times for rape kits are unacceptable and says he's pleased with this step towards getting rid of the backlog. The TBI director says on top of this, they'll be doing other things to improve the turnaround, like giving overtime to the scientists and technicians to work on pending cases, expand operations to include weekends, outsource kits to private labs, and bring you back some in the TBI who retired to help with training new scientists. He says with all this, that it'll put them in line to be close to their eight to 12 week turnaround time goal for, evident, for all evidence within the next year. Reporting live at the TBI this morning, Cole Johnson, News Channel 5.